I'm smiling. I just hope you won't hold that this song is, uh, like refers to a, a city in Alabama called Mobile, which is in the far, far south of the state, right on the Gulf of Mexico. And the song is called uh, Look right now, but, but Only Half is in Mobile. Well, we're going to leave. And then all the house up to and the highway sign says it all too well. Honey, we're still lonely in Arkansas. Might as well be hell. And my desperate hands are glued to the steering wheel. And we're still only halfway. Still only halfway. Still only halfway to move. Feel like I've been driving for a thousand years. We had to stop in Kansas, didn't we, baby, for that big old flood of tears. Now we're flat out of money. I don't have to beg, borrow, and steal. We're still only halfway. Still only half, halfway. Who to move The hand they dealt us, babe. Well, it just wasn't fair. Don't it seem like wherever we go, we're always only halfway there. We're only halfway there. Shabby little motel room. Sun pouring in through the curtain could not dispel the gloom. Cause seeing you and your suitcase gone, oh, baby, that was just a little too real. And we're still only halfway. Thank you. This next song is about a, a guy who was, he was, he needs his he needs his baby to come back home. It's called Baby Come Back Home. <laughs> <laughs> And once you listen to it, you'll realize his baby's definitely not. Baby, come back home, baby, come back home, baby, come back home. It's okay. Now, baby, I know I haven't always been the man you hoped I'd be. But if you come back home, honey, I'll do right, I guarantee. I'll stop doing all those things I do that you 
don't like it. And my cousin's sleeping on your couch. I'll tell him to take a hike. Baby, come back home. Baby, come back home. Baby, come back home. I'll tell my other girlfriend that we're over finished, done. And I'll take back that dress I gave her, that cute little purple one. And those naked pictures of me and her, I'll burn them on and sweat. And I'll never again say I prefer the way she wears her hair. Baby, come back home. Baby, come back home. Baby, come back home. The money that you loan me, I'll repay you every cent. Your dog I'm supposed to take care of, I'll find out where he went. And that precious family heirloom of your grandma's that I sold. Get it back, believe me. Ooh, funny, my word is gold. Baby, come back home. Baby, come back home. Baby, come back home. By now, I hope you know. I mean, you got to know, my dear. My intentions are the very best. I'm nothing but sincere. And come back home and on your way, just do one thing you hear. Pick up some frozen pizza. Two six packs of beer. Baby, come back home. Baby, come back home. Baby, come back home. Come back home. Come back home. Come back home. This next tune is audience participation. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. I'm okay, right? We're, uh. What's gonna happen in this tune? Totally ready to go. Now, Bob, listen. You're gonna have to participate. Oh, God. Yes. I hate participation. You gotta Sorry. participate. I don't. Everybody in the room has got to oh, participate. God. What happens is I sing a line and y'all repeat it. Now, that's only in the verses. I'll sing the chorus by myself. It's about a brand new dance. It's called The Circumstance. Song's called. Do the circumstance. <laughs> and I want you to sing along! No, if you don't, don't know about that. You're desperate. I won't be your friend no more. Well, that's okay, man. <laughs> <laughs> if that's what's required, maybe we can cut ties. <laughs> no, Come on! Don't say that. No, no, no. Just, oh, don't go, say that. go for it, go for it. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. We're going to go for it. But don't ask me to do that. Hey, everybody. Hey, everybody. Brand new dance. Brand new dance. The name of the dance. The name of the dance. Use the circumstance. Use the circumstance. Stand on your hands. Stand on your hands. Wiggle your toes. Wiggle your toes. Bark like a dog. Bark like a dog. Scrunch up your nose. Scrunch up your nose. It's the circumstance. It's a brand new dance. Come on and give it a chance. Put 
Put your hand together. Put your hand together. As if to pray. Thinking something clever. Something clever to say. Keep on dancing. Dance out the door. Admit to yourself. You won't be back no more. You won't be back no more. Okay. You got to give it a chance. Gateway to romance. The game of bridge. Here we go. We'll try it. Another war career. I was playing some bridge last Friday night. A friendly game with the neighbors. I was doing all. Right. I had a few good hands, I was winning, you see. Then my friends started getting a little hostile with me. They said, you brought the deck, Sam. These cards are marked. One of them ran outside where my Toyota was parked. It was my neighbor, Chuck, a really nice guy. Oh, but now he had a real wild look in his eye. He pulled out a knife, started slashing my tires, reached under the dashboard, pulling out wires. I said, Chuck, what the fuck? I mean, what the fuck, Chuck? He said, Sam, it looked like you're flat out of luck. You ain't going nowhere in this car. You cheat the bit up from behind. Come, my good friend. He clipped me on the shoulder with a fry in a pan. Then his wife pulled a gun, nice gal named Anne. She fired a single rattle, took out my left middle toe. I thought I still got nine, so it's okay, you know. But then Anne's friend Jane, I don't know her that well, ran up to me screaming, I'll send you to hell. She was waving on a big long samurai sword. I thought, that's the wound I can't And so I took Oh, oh, I street. Had nine toes left. I could still use my feet. But now the whole gang was chasing me. Closing in quick. One had a crowbar. Another had an ice pick. I tripped and fell. They surrounded me fast. And then I thought this moment might be my last. But a voice down the block shouted, Listen up, y'all. If my friends sound cheated, I don't know how. The cards are marked. No, they're totally clean. What? He didn't cheat? They said, is that what you mean? He said, yes. You got to spare in his life. And that goes double for Peter's wife. And so she holstered a gun and said, sorry about the toe, but I'll bring you a loaf of my homemade sourdough. And Peter says, sorry about the shoulder, man. As a gesture of good will, here, take the frying pan. And Chuck said, sorry about the tires, old friend. I hope my friendship will never end. Yeah. And so we all headed back to the house where we were playing. They were all apologetic, nice things they would say. They came to the last beer they had in the fridge and said, Sam, next week, please join us. Thank you.